Hi guys, my name is Amel and we're here with Mr. Davis who has a appear the hot sauce line called Euphoria Eats. All right, tell us about your line, Mr. Davis. Well, at Euphoria Eats, we offer infused condiments that are mixed with 250 milligrams of CBD. We're out of Louisiana and we've been in business about seven years. If you want something that's good and flavorful that has the impact of CBD, you should try us out definitely. This one bottle right here will help you with any ailments you got going on in the CBD realm. So please just visit us at www.euphoriaeatsco.com and get your bottle of this right here. It's love in a bottle, y'all. Love in a bottle. So what gave you this amazing idea? I, I, I'm, I'm a veteran and I, uh, I suffer from PTSD. Okay. So I was on a lot of pills and whatnot. And I just couldn't not, I, I, I don't want to be on this for the rest of my life. Okay. So I found the benefits of CBD and kind of expanded from that because I was an amateur chef as well at, at the same time. So I just had some extra sauce and I mixed it too. And this is what came out. So how have you been able to regulate the FDA saying no CBD and products and then other, other people saying fuck them and just do their own business idea? Well, it's just... Excuse it's, my language. It's a catch-22 because it's just like the FDA says a lot of things are good for yet they kill us. So it's like, I know that this is good and beneficial, so I think that after a while that comes to their senses. And let us eat it. You have rocks, you have gummies. You're eating those, right? Right. But you can't eat no barbecue sauce? Like lab tested, COAs, everything. It's just like any other product. I have to look at the same products or processes that they have to go through, but yet I can't be in the industry. Why not? So it just be like, hey, I'm going to pull steam ahead. So... Unfortunately, people like us have been criminalized in this marijuana industry. And then to get in, it's so much capital. How have you overcome that? Well, uh, a support system, as well as a drive to succeed in this industry. Like, it's very hard and it's very intimidating to some, but if you just keep walking, like, I had to use the old, the old to say, walk by faith, but that's what I pretty much had to do. Like, I knew that I was going to have some obstacles to overcome, and I overcame all of them. And as a veteran, that meant more me, because I don't, I, I never give up. I never give up. I never stop. Was it hard overcoming your family's doubts? Because sometimes our family's the biggest one, like, don't start a business. Continue to work for someone. Well, in the South, cannabis is a bad word. Like, completely. It's like, oh, what? And you're from Louisiana? And they call it dope, though. They call it dope. But it ain't dope. It's cannabis. Right. Um... I just didn't tell them. Okay. I did not tell them a soul. I didn't tell them nothing until it was done. So after it's done, you can't go and un undo something because it's already done. And that's how I got it. So are you, were you a chef? I know you said you had post-traumatic stress, so you made a way for CBD to be included. But were you also a chef? Are you? Yes, okay. I'm an amateur chef. I did a lot of competition cooking. I won a lot of shows just with my food, my ribs, my brisket, my barbecue. My H2 pay, my gumbo, it's with a lot of other different things. So I just kind of I capitalized that because I know what people want and what they want to taste. So I put all that within the bottle. What's been your challenges uh, distribution wise, and how have you overcome them? Meeting distributors, meeting the distributors that are willing to work with us. Um, we're not um, a large scale company. I own the company. Yes, sir. Myself. So it's just like you have to get in front of these people in order to know who does what. But if you don't have those avenues, and the internet definitely won't tell you. So it's kind of like having to find a needle in a haystack, and I haven't to find it. The reason why I'm interested is because I'm from here, but I'm interested in doing a vegan chicken company, and I'm like, CBD sauce, what? Right. right. And right. it's like the weak spot, but it's vegan, and then you got the CBD sauce. Man, yeah. no bad on me. Have you tried it? No, I would love to try yeah. it. I want you to try it. Okay. On your own. On your own camera, I'm gonna hold it for you. And okay. Try it. Okay, you want sweet? And I would like love to get. Sauce. I would like whatever you give me. I can handle hot, but I would love to get your car to talk business yeah. afterwards. Okay, so this is the uh, body glaze. Okay. This is the hot sauce. Okay. This is the spicy hot sauce. Okay. I'm going to give you all three of these and I'm going to put it around on, on you. Okay. Okay, so how do I flip this? Yeah, you flip it. Alright, so we have this sauce. Let me taste it. That is a spicy barbecue sauce. I told you already. I told you already. No, you can't taste nothing. Oh, my goodness. 
And so just imagine that on your chicken, on your nuggets, and all things that. I told you it was good. I told you it was good. Damn, 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 damn. Black excellence right here. It doesn't smell like cannabis. It doesn't taste like cannabis. It tastes like a high quality barbecue sauce. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. And that's the sweet barbecue sauce. That's a sweet one now. There's no hint of heat on the end of that one or nothing. Amazing. Look at what we can say. Okay. All right. Thank you. Wow. And the hot sauce is, is more of a... Uh, no, no, no. That one right there. Huh? That's the hot sauce one right there. And that's more or less uh, a wing sauce. Like a buffalo... Hot wing sauce, yeah. That, that's the hot sauce. Hey, man, hey, man. I was looking for a William Davis. Oh. And this is not tomato. You like it? Amazing. So how much is this retail? Oh, dollars uh, $14.99 online, but at the show they're gonna be only ten dollars. Like I don't I don't wanna break the bank. I just want you to try my product. I'm going to be buying all three yeah. and following up with you about this fast food, I mean, this chicken, vegan chicken thing. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to miss your customers. Okay.